spiders. Hello there, arachnid enthusiasts. Today, we are going to learn all about spiders. If you want to read along with us, you can download this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What are spiders? Have you ever been scared by a spider or walked into one of their sticky webs? It can be a bit scary. Spiders are arachnids, which are members of the larger group of arthropods. Arachnids include spiders, mites, ticks, and scorpions. Their bodies are divided into two sections, the cephalothorax in the front and the abdomen in the back. Unlike insects, arachnids do not have wings or antenna. Still, like insects, they have jointed exoskeletons, or a protective shell covering their bodies and legs. Arachnids lay eggs, and their babies look like miniature adults. Biologists say there are an estimated 43,000 and possibly as many as 45,000 spider species. Although most spiders are venomous, only 30 species can be harmful to humans. But you have to be very careful because some venomous spiders can kill humans. Some people are so afraid of spiders that they have what we call arachnophobia, an extreme fear of spiders. About 6% of people in the world suffer from it. What do they eat? Spiders eat mainly mosquitoes, flies, and moths. Sometimes they even eat other spiders. While most spiders eat primarily insects, larger spiders also eat worms, snails, frogs, lizards, and birds. Most spider species passively catch their prey by spinning complex webs. On their abdomens, spiders have structures called spinnerets, which are organs that spin silk. Have you ever wondered why a spider doesn't get stuck in their own web? That is because the spinneret can make either sticky or dry silk, and the silk can be thick or thin, beaded or smooth. Spiders decide what type of silk the web needs. When insects cross paths with the web, they get stuck on the sticky threads. The spider carefully walks along the path of dry threads to get to the insect and then uses its fangs to inject venom into the trapped insect. The toxin kills or paralyzes the insect, allowing the spider to eat its dinner without a fuss. But not all spiders use webs to catch their prey. Some spiders chase their prey and throw sticky nets over them when they get close. And still other spiders are hunters, like the crab and wolf spiders. In fact, like a snake, the crab spider is very patient. It can wait for days or even weeks to catch a delicious meal. And one spider, the Bahira kipling eye, is a vegetarian. It eats the buds of trees in Central America. Other interesting facts. The word arachnida is Greek for spider. The ancient Greeks told a story about a young girl named Arachne who said she could weave better than the goddess Athena. So, they had a contest, and Arachne won. Athena fumed with rage at her loss. So, she changed the girl into a spider. Can you imagine having thousands of brothers and sisters? That could happen if you were a spider. Female spiders lay up to 3,000 eggs at one time. And in addition to having an extensive family, you would also be able to jump up to 50 times your own body length. For example, jumping spiders use an internal hydraulic system, which means they can alter or change the fluid pressure in their legs to help them jump long distances. Why are they important to the environment? Spiders play a role in the food chain as both predators and prey. They eat insects, keep their populations under control, and feed birds and other small animals. 
But spiders do more for us than just play a vital role in the food web. Spider venom is also very useful in the medical field. It treats irregular heartbeats, memory problems, and many other things. And some spider venom is used in pest control materials because it is toxic to insects, but not to most other creatures. In addition, spider silk can be made into many things, like bulletproof clothing, or even artificial tendons and ligaments, which are parts of our bodies that hold our bones and muscles together. Spiders all over the world are suffering from human activity. When people cut down trees, use pesticides, and graze animals on large areas of land, the spider population starts to decrease. So next time you see a spider, don't stomp on it. Just trap it in a glass and take it back outside. Talk about some super spidery facts. Let's review. True or false? There are only 30 spider species in the world. False. There are 43,000. What is an extreme fear of spiders called? Arachnophobia. Choose the word the author would say best describes spiders. A. Defenseless. B. Venomous. C. Unique. D. Endangered. E. Meek. B. Venomous. Nice work, everyone. If you enjoyed learning about spiders today, make sure you head over to learnbright.org for even more great lesson plans about your favorite creatures. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.